Hi everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be my work planner system. As you can imagine, there's a lot of private info in here, so I'm gonna be going over the process, not necessarily the details. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this content, and if you do, please make sure you subscribe. I would appreciate it greatly. Let's get into my work planner system. First, I love my Levenger soft folio. This is a junior size, which is basically a half letter size. This houses my five choices Franklin Covey planner. My work planner system consists of three things. My five choices planner, my daily folders, and my work Bible. Of course, a computer, but that goes without saying. So let's start out with my five choices planner. So again, my five choices planner is half letter size, it is wire bound, and it is Franklin Covey classic size. I love this planner. I have been using this planner for years. And when I say four years, I mean four years. I have four in front of me now, but I also have archived probably another three or four. So that is how functional this planner has been for me and how perfect it is for work planning for me. So the reason why I love this planner is for, for multiple reasons. The first is that it has a monthly view on two pages and they're pretty big squares. If you're familiar with Franklin Covey classic size, you know that it's very spacious. It's what other people in the community probably know as half letter size and I love it. So the monthly view is one of the reasons why I love it because it's very spacious. And then you have a weekly view and I love it because it's a weekly vertical and then it has space on the bottom for tasks or notes. You have a view of the current month. It's just perfection. I will show you how I use this shortly. And then you have subcategories. And let me kind of lift this here so that you can see. You have roles and goals, master tasks and notes. And then on the very back, I have a notepad from Levenger. Again, I love this planner. Let me just go into how I use this before we go into my system. So how I use the monthly view is this is where I have my bills reminder. And again, this is work bills. These are things that I know are gonna happen every month and things that happen maybe once a year or a quarterly. Things that are once a year or quarterly like property taxes or you know common charges for a specific home, like here, this is an ION Paris charge that I know is due in June. And so what happens is the month before, I look at the month ahead to see, is there anything I need to be aware of and prep payment for? The weekly tasks is where I keep my daily tasks. It is like a running task list, not of things I need to do, but rather the things I complete in a day. And this was heavily inspired by Philo Planner on Instagram. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel, but for sure on Instagram, she would do a detailed list of the things that she would do in a day. Prior to implementing that method, I would just be writing just gibberish, things in my day and wasn't catching all of my tasks that I had completed in a day. And now I 1000% capture everything that I complete because it is so crucial for us in our work day, especially me that I work from home. There are times where I'm like, what did I do today? Like it just flew by and I don't even remember because it was such a busy day that I don't even remember what I did. And so implementing this, the Philo Planner's like detailed tasks that she writes out in her day has been phenomenal. It's been a game changer for me because I'm able to look back 
I'll just quickly kind of flip through. I'm able to look back and see all the tasks that have been done. And so basically what I do in the beginning of every week is I take my little ruler or bookmark and I just make a line all the way through because I basically write out my tasks on a daily basis once they're completed so that I know, okay, I did QuickBooks coding today. I had 45 items that I needed to code and at attach receipts for. I talked to Paris bankers because we needed to do wire transfers. It all gets written down here and it's not detail. It's basically things that would jog my memory if I needed to look back. So like QB, coding, New York, 10 items, Paris, wires, things that I would be able to reference back if I needed to. And it's just a great way to see. And some days I am like completely jam packed and some days half the day, it's just dependent on the day, but typically it's completely jam packed. Okay. So that's how the weekly view is used. It is a log of my daily tasks. Lastly is my dividers. Though they're labeled roles and goals, master tasks and notes, I actually have a completely different purpose for these. As I mentioned before, the three items that make my work system function is my five choices planner, my daily folders, which I will show you shortly, and my work Bible. These tabs house all the information that I need on a daily basis. Now that can mean account numbers and routing numbers for all the international banks and domestic banks that I deal with on a daily basis. It may have my boss's info for when I need to do payments over the phone and they request date of birth or social security or things like that. Everything that I would need on a day-to-day -day basis is in these tabs. I also do accounting for a interior design company and that has its own tab that has all the credit cards associated with that, all the bank accounts associated with that, everything that I would need, everything is locked into one of these tabs so that I can quickly go to this tab and know that that has to do with the interior design. Any information that is needed there is housed here. That way when I'm going somewhere to meet with my boss, everything is housed here. And if we need to do a transfer, I don't have to look online for banking. I have it all at my fingertips. Okay. So that is how the tabs are used. For instance, the roles and goals has every single family member, their social security, phone number, address, all their travel numbers, their global entry, their passport, anything I would need in the event that I needed to get the emergency travel, anything like that I have at my fingertips. I have their vehicles, whose vehicle is whose, when registration is due, what the VIN number is, who the insurance carrier is. It is all here. Those are things that I use on a daily basis. And so here's an example of what it would look like inside these tabs that I cannot share for obviously personal reasons. I have the first and last name, their date of birth, their social, their driver's license, passport, sell, global entry, travel. And then for other family members, I have their checking account. So if I need to sell money to them or transfer money from the main account to one of the family members, I have it all here at my fingertips. And again, this kind of format is the same that I use for any banking information. It would list Bank of Scotland, the account number, the name, the address, the IBN number, all of the information that I would need for a bank would be here and who that banking account is associated to. So this roles and goals, these tabs are my lifeline on a day-to-day -day basis. This is how I use my five choices planner and the tabs in a month and weekly. Okay, so that is my first item on the list. So we're gonna set this aside. The second part of my system are dividers. 
And what I mean by dividers are, and I'm gonna show you these dividers upside down <laughs> so that you get the idea of what I mean by dividers. So I don't like folders because I can't see what's inside of them, how bulky each folder is. So what I did is I took folders and I cut them down. And let me just show you, here is a, just a bland folder. I particularly like cover folders. I'm not gonna take my paper cutter out. I'm just gonna use scissors. And basically I cut a folder. These are so bad scissors. I cut a folder and I did a color for each entity or thing that I do. And I'll show you that here shortly. And then I take, this is probably too small, but then I take a label and typically I've already printed on here. And this says, let's just get a marker here. This would have been printed, but say this is follow up. And that way, when I go into my process, you will see that items get placed inside each folder. And so my four folders that are constant and with me all the time are boss number one, that's boss number two. This is the interior design company, which is basically boss number two, his wife. And then I have a accounting bills pay folder. And then I have a follow-up folder. So those are my four folders slash dividers. So that is part two of my work planner system. Part three is a binder. And this is what I call my work Bible. And here is an example, right? Everybody knows what a binder looks like. And what is housed in here is everything that could possibly relate to my job. So if I got hit by a car tomorrow, I want my boss to be able to have everything that they need to function without me. So I basically run through my day and everything that I touch on a daily basis, whether it be routines, but it's also passwords, logins, all the accounts that are associated to every home around the world travel info, bills, when they're due, family members, vehicles. This is the bigger version and more detailed version of my planner tabs, okay? And so this has every single possible thing. Everything you can imagine is in my work Bible, okay? And again, I don't touch this on a daily basis. Once I create this, it kind of sits in my desk secure. It is rare that I need something from this particular binder that is not already in my five choices quick view, okay? So that is number three. So we will bring my planner binder back. So now let's talk about my planning system and how I work throughout my day. So the first thing I do is time block. Not really, <laughs> but the first part of my day is time blocked. I take my first 30 minutes of my work day and I go immediately to my email. I check items that I can quickly respond to emails that can be filed away if there's I'm if I'm just cc'd and I don't need to do anything all of these emails get filed away because in my email box I have subfolders that are all broken down by each entity so that I can easily file an email away so emails there's three things that happen in my emails they either get filed printed or flagged. So when I print an email, what that means is that it's an action that needs to be taken besides just a simple email response. Maybe it's an email telling me that I have to pay a bill. Maybe it's an email that is following up with someone else on an action that I need from them or they need from me. Some kind of process. Those emails get printed. 
that printed email then gets filed into the appropriate folders, either Boss One, Interior Designs, Accounting, or Follow Up, okay? The folders for me are a visual, tactile way for me to see what is waiting on follow up or for me to take an action. So number two, after I do the emails and I've either printed, filed away, and cleared my outbox, or inbox rather, I then time block another 30 minutes and I review what's inside in my folders. So once emails are done and printed, now it's time to move to my folders and review. I start with following up to see, is there any emails that I already resolved that were in here that I can toss or file away? And then I move to each folder to see what, if anything, has a deadline. Anything that I need to know that is time sensitive or important, I then pull out of this folder and set aside. So I, if I knew that this particular folder was, this particular action item was super important, I would set it aside outside my folder and put it where my planner is because these are time sensitive items that need to have my attention first. Once I have this stack pulled, of important time sensitive things pulled from my folders, I then sort these items by the least consuming because the way my mind works is I prefer to do the small tasks first. And the way Franklin Covey calls it is small rocks first, big rocks later. That's how my mind works. So once I ha decide the level of priority of these items that I've pulled out of the folders, I then work my way through them. So typically, depending on what it is, it could take me an hour, two hours to go through my urgent stack. And then once these are done, they're either filed away to the appropriate bookkeeping folder or in my receipts folder so that I can attach to a statement later. It's all filed away accordingly. So after that is done, and mind you, while I'm doing these tasks, I'm writing them down. Paid medical bill 465. Anything that I'm doing, I'm logging after I've pulled the important deadline items out of the folder, I then move to each folder one at a time. For instance, folder number one, is there anything in this folder that I can do? Is there a follow-up email I need to do? Is there a call? And these are more non-urgent items separate from the deadline ones that we pulled out first. This is just what's in this folder, what can I do to move these items along, and so on and so forth. And I personally like to start with my accounting folder because basically it's just typically making a payment, logging into my banking, doing bill pay, check balances, call vendors to make a payment, whether it's medical or otherwise. And then I go to QuickBooks and I see what is posted and coded and attach the receipt. So I have several entities. So this typically takes me an hour or two to code and attach receipts. Okay, and then I move on to the other fo folders progressing as I go. The last thing I do in my day is I go back to my emails and I checked my flagged items. Remember that the first thing I do in my day is I go through my emails and I either print the email, flag the email, or file the email away. And those items that are flagged, I then go back and I review them, checking if any items can be unflagged or mark completed based on the day that I completed. And I also like to check my flagged items because sometimes I flag an item and file it in its appropriate email folder and I forget to print it. So it's also a way for me to check if I missed anything that I should have printed and put in a folder. So that is really how my workday functions. These two things together, my dividers and my planner are the core of my planning system. I hope that was informative. Like I said, this five choices has been with me for at least six or seven years and I'm able to keep my planner, archive it, and when I need to look back on something, I can. Again, just quick overview. 
the monthly view houses all the bills. Right now it's not listed because I wanted it to be clean so that you don't see that personal information, but it's any bills that I pay on a monthly basis for all entities, for all homes, and for all businesses. On the top, I highlight, for instance, if taxes are due that month, so that when I'm in a previous month and I look ahead, I'm like, oh, I need to make sure there's funds in the account to cover taxes or to cover this Paris bill that needs to be paid on time. That is what the monthly view is for. Then you go into the weekly view. And again, this is where I log all my tasks for the day. This is not a detailed log. This is simply little tidbit reminders of what I did in the day so that I can feel like I actually worked and so that I can quickly reference if I need to look back and be like, when did I do that? And I can look back on my weeks and check. So this is key. And then the three tabs, again, house my items that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Every family member, every account, every credit card associated to the business or bank account associated to the business that I can quickly reference. And of course, I have notes from Levenger that when I'm in meetings, when I meet with my bosses, I can take notes and then move this into a task that is either printed or written down. This is my work system. And again, I work from home. I have a meeting once a week that I drive to, but that's with my bosses. And again, this planner goes with me and these folders go with me so that when I'm sitting with my boss or my bosses, I'm able to say, here's the things that I need your action or your decision on so that I can move ahead with my work tasks. So that is it, you guys. This is my planner system. This is what works for me. I have been using this planner system for decades. Anywhere I work, I implement this folder system and this planner system. It is crucial for me to function. I need this for my brain. I need things subcategorized so that I can function and not feel overwhelmed. I hope that this was helpful, you guys. I just thought I would share because a lot of you were asking and I wanted to be sure that I could share something that made sense, but I wasn't revealing too many confidential things. So I think this worked. I hope it did. If, if you felt that this was um, beneficial to you, please leave a comment below. I would appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It will help me and my channel so much, and I would love to have you part of my planner following. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.